cars leaving the church. We do want to check back in with Will Lewis, where Will, I imagine uh, as the minutes go by, you're seeing more people uh, line Monroe Road. Yeah, we sure are, Ann Wyatt, and, you know, officers are trying to direct people that can get by down Monroe Road uh, for traffic, like I said. We're talking about the Union County Sheriff's Office. We're talking about the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office. They're directing that traffic. CMPD, our uh, Charlotte fires here blocking one intersection as well, and we're starting to see this growing number of people across the street from us holding flags, holding signs, and everything else. Now, before... Uh, we had the technical difficulties. I was trying to explain that route. Now, we know Sydney is on Monroe Road, but that procession is going to go down East Trade Street, then down North McDowell, down East 7th, then on to Monroe Road, and then it will turn here at Sharon Memorial Park. And I know we posted up on social media. There is a huge flag that is over the entrance right now of Sharon Memorial Park. It's tough for us to show it right now, but we have taken a picture and we'll post that on social media. But as you can see, I can see some flashing lights, which means it is either the officers blocking intersections a few blocks down from us, or they're getting ready to close off those intersections as cars are still going by. But you know, we were at the start of the procession and we saw all those law enforcement um, officers from a lot of different divisions and also, you know, just everything that has been going on. The city has closed down a lot of roads around here and they just ask for the public's patience. But, you know, we don't know how long this procession will take, but I know that they have got a lot of the roads closed off. And when we start seeing them get a little closer to us, we will come right back to you.